Over the past 30 years in this business, I have had the privilege of interviewing many of the sport's most profiled movers, shakers, and innovators for Super Tracks Magazine. However, what you're about to witness on this episode of Snow Tracks Television is the most compelling, most revealing interview we have ever recorded. Roger Skyme's career, formerly the Vice President of Engineering at Arctic Cat Inc., has spanned virtually the entire history of the modern snowmobile. In a sense, he's the auto industry equivalent of Henry Ford, except Roger is still very much alive and with us. We asked Roger how it feels to be in this role as he looks back over his 50-year career in the snowmobile industry. I don't think there would have been any way to realize back in the beginning what the snowmobiles were going to turn into. Uh, in 1962, when I came to work for Edgar Ateen, uh, there was only four other people working at Articat, and uh, Edgar had built utility snowmobiles. He'd also had a vision of a, he called it a social snowmobile, which was a small snowmobile that you straddled. And back then, uh, when I came to work in 62, uh, there would have been no way that I would have ever believed that uh, what we was working on then would turn into the industry that it has today. The slide rail suspension literally defines the modern snowmobile and is employed by every OEM on every make and model snowmobile built today. It is one of Skyme's own innovations. His name is on the patent. Slide rail in itself was nothing new. I mean, Edgar Hattin had decided early that a slide rail was what was required on a snowmobile instead of a set of a bunch of wheels. I mean, he had decided that the right thing to lay down the road for the track was a slide rail. We had created a uh, design that uh, allowed to give us an improved ride to be able to travel over rough terrain at a higher speed. The agony of the early 80s Arctic Enterprises bankruptcy nearly broke his heart. However, it did not stop Roger and the men affectionately known as the Thief River Falls Six from orchestrating the rebirth of the iconic brand. When I think about the bankruptcy and the uh, demise of Articat and probably the darkest point in my life, I, I'd worked on Snowville, something that I'd loved for 20 years at that time and it's where I wanted to live, it's where I wanted to be. When you love something, you don't want to give up on it, I guess, and uh, thought maybe, maybe we can make a business of our own to make a front end suspension with independent front end versus a leaf spring and put on the Altrigri. So that's what we was working on, and at the same time, we just started having talks about how do we get the factory, the plant, up and rolling again. We went back and building some snowmobiles in 1983, or the 84 model. Roger Skyme is not a one-dimensional, engineering-only type guy. He regularly expresses concern for the next generation of snowmobilers. I think snowmobilers are gonna be just fine. Uh, I think it's awesome to realize that where snowmobile, what the snowmobile was in uh, 61, 62, and what it is today. Uh, sometimes you say, oh, those are the good old days, and uh, uh, all you have to do is do a reality check. The opinions of an icon not only carry weight, they are often predictors of the future. We wanted to know if the state of the modern snowmobile's development had peaked, or if there's the opportunity for more game-changing features to emerge in the future. Roger has a 50-year perspective only a handful of industry players possess. Looking back, did it turn out as good as he thought it would in the beginning? I think the snowmobile in itself and what it has evolved to is better than I probably anticipated. So I feel that there is a, just a handful of game changers. I believe there's going to be another one. I'm not so sure what it is quite yet. One thing Roger isn't very good at is retirement. He regularly comes into work at Arctic Cat's Thief River Falls engineering facility and has his hand on almost everything that's going on. 
new engineers here, a new leader. I think they have abilities to raise the bar because of the training they've had, because of the tools that are available. The new generation, I can say, is in good hands. And uh, I just enjoy being a part of helping develop uh, that young generation. The most important thing we wanted to know about Roger as a life lived, as a bona fide icon, a pioneer, and a passionate enthusiast who's seen it all, is there anything he would have done differently? No regrets. It's been awesome. I, I couldn't uh, be more blessed and fortunate to have been able to, in a career that uh, I've been excited about going to work every day. So I have no regrets in that line at all. If I could do it all over again, I would do the same thing. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.